This is Vader Reviews. We are honored that you would join us. You know, killing younglings, destroying planets, dicing up rebel scum, and even chopping off my son's hand. That's just my day job. I'm pretty chill when I clock out for the day. And when I do, there's nothing I love more than sitting down and relaxing to a good movie. And it got me to thinking, since everything is being remade to the nth degree these days, what if we got some good remakes? What if we took the genre pictures from the golden age of Hollywood that inspired a young George Lucas to create Star Wars and reimagined them to be set in our beloved galaxy far, far away? Before we begin, if you are new to the channel, join the Empire today by subscribing and hit that bell for notifications. Running an Empire isn't cheap, and neither is feeding my space cats Darth Meow Meow and Darth Maul. We call her that because she's feisty and bites everyone. All the time. Donate to our PayPal today, and you'll not only keep our channel alive, you'll keep my space cats alive as well. Help me, UB2 reviewers. You're my only hope. Now with that out of the way, let's kick things off with the 1961 Akira Kurosawa classic, Yojimbo. For those of you who don't know, Akira Kurosawa was an influential Japanese filmmaker who was a huge influence on George Lucas. Yojimbo tells the story of a wandering swordsman who pits two corrupt factions against one another in an effort to clean up a small town. And if this sounds familiar to you, it was remade in 1964 by Sergio Leone as the western Fistful of Dollars, starring Clint Eastwood as everyone's favorite man with no name. If your intention was to preserve the swordsman storyline, one could remake your Jimbo, set during the ancient Sith Empire, focusing on a lone ronin Jedi, battling rival Sith factions on an ancient Sith world, or, if you prefer more scum and villainy, take the Fistful of Dollars approach and set the film on Tatooine, where Boba Fett pits two hut clans against one another. Either way, it will be totally wizard. I personally would love to see both versions of this film. Moving right along to the swashbuckling high sea adventure films that also inspired George Lucas, the pirate films of the 1930s and 40s, particularly those starring Errol Flynn. Yes sir, nothing quite hooks me like a good pirate film. We've had many sci-fi westerns, war films, even some in the horror genre, but with the exception of Treasure Planet, I can't think of any space pirate films. Reimagining the 1935 Errol Flynn classic, Captain Blood, for the Star Wars galaxy would make for a great adventure. Captain Blood is set during the Monmouth Rebellion, when British subjects tried to overthrow the King of England. Interestingly, the Monmouth Rebellion is where Mon Mothma got her name in Star Wars. When Dr. Peter Blood, whose name sounds like a character from a Blade comic book, is unjustly imprisoned, he trades his scalpel for a cutlass to become the daring pirate, Captain Blood. A veritable treasure trove of swashbuckling adventure if you're looking for a unique and exciting film to reimagine for the Star Wars universe, X marks the spot. My next choice is less a particular film and more a genre, film noir, the gritty detective films of the 1940s. As I posted on Twitter last week, before there was a Han Solo type, there was the Humphrey Bogart type. I highly recommend these classic Bogart films. The Maltese Falcon from 1941, the 1946 version of The Big Sleep, and if you're interested in the films that inspired George Lucas when creating our favorite scruffy looking nerf herder Captain Solo, watch the 1942 Casablanca, To Have and Have Not from 1944, and 1948's Key Largo. Star Wars would lend itself perfectly to the dark side of film noir. And I would love to see a gritty detective story set in the underworld of Coruscant or Narshada. It could deal with Black Sun and Prince Shizor, the Hut Clans, or even Crimson Dawn if you wanted to bring Darth Maul into it. Star Wars could use a good mystery, just as long as it's not a mystery box. And finally, 
Although it was not made during the golden age of classic Hollywood, it drew its inspiration from that era of filmmaking. I would personally love to see a treasure hunting adventure in the vein of Indiana Jones set in the Star Wars galaxy. Swap out the Germans for the Empire and have the artifact they're hunting be force related. Whether it is a Jedi holocron, a Sith relic, or the search for the Valley of the Jedi if you wanted to tie in to the Jedi Outcast series. Exploring exotic alien worlds and delving into the rich history and mythology of the Star Wars universe could make for an exciting spin-off, and the possibilities of creating a new character to go on these wild adventures across the galaxy are endless. Think of the imagery of Dr. Jones riding his horse during one of the iconic action set pieces of the Raiders franchise. And now, imagine instead of a horse, it is an exotic Star Wars alien creature of some kind. And instead of military trucks and motorcycles, he is racing against speeder bikes, imperial walkers, or new vehicles we have never seen before. In the end, Star Wars is such a rich franchise, created from a wide range of inspiration. And as Willie sang at the beginning of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, anything goes as long as it is done with imagination, heart, and respect for Star Wars, Star Wars fans, and George Lucas' original intention to give audiences of all ages something they could truly enjoy. But those are my picks. What films or genres would you like to see reimagined in the Star Wars universe? Comment below and follow me on Twitter, at VaderReview. Join the Empire today. You do not yet realize your importance. Share these videos, and together we will rule the internet. And always remember, you don't know the power of the dark side.